Today we're talking cruising the Galapagos, islands in the Pacific Ocean, and the cruise I took was Klein Tours. First cruise was 2007 with my brother Richard, and we saw a number of different islands. This is actually in the Darwin Station, and at that time you could actually walk in with the tortoises. Of course we saw the marine iguanas, the flightless frigate birds, and I wanted to go back and get pictures of that iguana. When you cruise, there are a number of different routes that you can take. And they're either three nights or four nights. And both of my cruises, I combined a three and a four for seven nights and eight days. But my next cruise was in 2014, starting in Quito, Ecuador. A little bit cool, but we had a beautiful place, but too cold for that pool. But all we did was find a place to eat and this trip with Kelly Paul who's an advantage because he speaks Spanish but then it was off to the airport the next day and flying through Guayaquil and then to the Galapagos. We landed at the airport at San Cristobal one of two major airports in the Galapagos Islands. After we got settled on the boat, we met some of the local residents, and then we, we toured the Interpretive Center. It's an interesting building, has a history of some of the things that went on. That's the old post office. And this shows how the island has changed over time in the population. And then we got out to see some of the iguanas. This was a nesting site. And of course I had Kelly take some pictures of me. I told him I was photobombed, so he tried again. This time he got his thumb in the way. Next effort was no better. This is how it should look. Maybe in the next island. That was pretty much it for San Cristobal. So we said goodbye to the residents. And the next day we were heading to Hood Island. The great thing about a cruise is you sleep while you travel. And when you wake up in the morning, you're at an exciting new place. As we approached the beach, we saw sea turtles, iguanas, and sea lions. But the thing I really wanted to see, and that Hood Island or Espanola is known for, are these red, colorful marine iguanas. You could get quite close to them, though you're not supposed to touch them. But just being an Iguana Tortoise fan, there's not much better place to go. Kelly tried to take another picture of me, and finally he kind of got me in it. There are also a number of other lizards. This is a female lava lizard, and a male lava lizard. Each island has different species of lava lizards. But the iguanas are just spectacular, and Kelly got better at taking pictures. The Nazca booby is one of three booby birds, the red foot, and the blue footed, and the Nazca booby. It's just amazing how close you can just walk by nesting, nesting birds. And even though I'm not a bird person, it's still spectacular to see. And this is actually a young albatross. If you go in December, you'll catch the albatross nesting, have one of the largest wingspans of any bird. That's an albatross egg. Each island has both an English and a Spanish name. So Hood Island for English is also Espanola in Spanish. And one of the reasons I wanted to go there was to see this Christmas iguana. The red and green is just spectacular, and that's what Hood Island is known for. Just when you thought I wouldn't show any more iguana pictures, I looked down this cliff, and just amazing. Hundreds of marine iguanas, maybe thousands. Just a spectacular sight to see so many iguanas. They're coming up from the ocean to bask and warm up. 
One of the things that make a cruise interesting are the people that you're seated with for dinner. You get to know people from around the world and it actually is one of the more exciting things of the cruise. This was our table mate showing how close he could get to a finch. But just spectacular seeing the different birds. This is a blue-footed booby with a baby underneath it. A couple more. This is actually one of the doves with the blue eyes. Fricket bird nesting. But just spectacular. You can walk and see all these animals. But of course, I took 10 million iguana pictures. Iguanas in the sea, iguanas on land. There's Kelly and I with a seal. And you'll see how beautiful white sand beaches. And we actually did have an opportunity to go snorkeling a number of times. Unfortunately, I think the first time I went snorkeling, the camera leaked. And so I got about three pictures and I have no more snorkeling pictures for the rest of my trip. So that means you're back to iguana pictures. You can see Kelly's getting better getting pictures of me with the iguanas. I guess practice makes perfect. Here Kelly tries to take a picture of a lava lizard and as you can see in this next picture they don't sit quite as still as some of the other lizards but there's a picture of it. More marine iguanas. Spectacular Christmas iguana with the red and green. Yeah, I've got to say I love these iguanas and they're one hugs the other one so I guess they love each other too. Kelly tries to take a picture of a marine iguana and no he's not petting it. He's just getting close with his cell phone. And of course the Galapagos hawk is a predator on both the marine iguanas and land iguanas. Another lava lizard, female, male, and of course, I took a million iguana pictures. And that one has marine iguanas and a lava lizard. And look for the iguanas there. And here's our first view of a Sally Lightfoot crab. Just spectacular to see everything on the islands. I've often described the cruise as you wake up, pig out, then go for a hike and see spectacular animals, then come back for lunch, pig out, maybe have a nap, then go back out for more excitement, but eventually the day ended, and so now we're on day three. Floriana. It was a wet landing, meaning that you step off the dinghy into the water and get your feet wet. Of course, it's known for the post office. In 1793, Captain James Colnett installed a wooden barrel, which served as an informal post office for sailors passing through. That tradition's continued today, and I think Kelly wrote a letter and actually picked up a letter to deliver when he got home. The lava lizards look the same to me as the ones on Isabella. And here our guide is giving us some instruction. Kelly was listening closely to the sea turtle eggs that had hatched. And of course we pay attention to everything that's said. More than likely, we're the ones that they're trying to round up at the end of the trip because we got to get back on the boat. But these are trails from sea turtles that had nested. Sea turtle tracks and sea turtle nests were all over the beach. And of course, when you look out in the ocean, there were sea turtles doing their thing in the surf, in the ocean, just a lot of sea turtles and the waves didn't seem to bother them or stop them or interrupt their activity.
I found another green and red marine iguana, so another iguana photo. They also have flamingos on the island, and you see evidence of prior civilization, but it's time for lunch and back on the boat. Enjoy a great dinner. After the dinner, relax a little bit, check out the scenery, things that you pass as you're sailing to your next destination. Day four would bring us to Santa Cruz. And the highlights of this are the Darwin Center and then going to the highlands to see the giant Galapagos tortoises. And you thought I took a lot of pictures of marine iguanas? Wait till you see how many pictures I took of tortoises. I caught this guy just as he was emerging from the mud. And just amazing to see how the whole face is covered in mud. Every once in a while, I'd take a break of taking pictures of tortoises and take a picture of a finch or two. And there's also a lava tube there that you can hike through, which is a little diversion. But most of the time, it's looking around at all the Galapagos tortoises. Since this video is getting pretty long, and this is day four of our trip, I'll probably end the video and then pick up tomorrow when we head to the Darwin Station, back to the Highlands, and then continue the cruise on to other islands. So tune in for part two to see the rest of our cruise and some more outstanding pictures of tortoises and iguanas. And I can't explain this pink stuff in the water. But we'll see more tortoises. And of course, we'll see Diego. Take care.